your face pale on the still white color found your eyes seemed ever changing in my mind Ooh, colors bleed to red hello hello all my wig friends welcome back to my channel i'm nikki and i hope you are all ready for a wig review because i've got one she has a new release and that is why i'm bringing her to you today rather than on my regular schedule which is always monday thursdays and fridays if you haven't yet subscribed join the party and click that button so you don't miss these surprise videos either and if you are a subscriber thank you very much i do appreciate it there is quite a bit of buzz about this girl right now. She looks a lot like another wig from the same company, and I want to see how she compares. But of course, I'm going over all the details that you need to know about her. That's why I want to know your thoughts, so please tell me in the comments. And you can also throw in there if there's a wig you'd like me to review. So let's just go ahead and dive on in and get started. And who I'm bringing to you today is Layla, and she is from Outre. She is a lace front with HD Lace. Who does she look like to you? I think she looks like Davida. And I am not the only one that sees these similarities. But she does look pretty. And I have her in the color DR2 Ginger Brown. I know. I had just reviewed Martina in an all-over ginger brown color. But I ordered her in Chocolate Swirl and they accidentally sent me the wrong color. It happens. No fault of their own. But... I couldn't re exchange her because the chocolate swirl was sold out because this wig is popular. I will take the ginger brown. It's not a problem. <laughs> and there's 10 colors all together that she comes in, and some of them are brand new. I'm glad that they're introducing these new colors. Just for example, one of them is DR Raging Red. Take a look at that. Yes. So I'm happy about the new colors. And, of course, she is also heat save up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I picked her up from Ebony Line for $34.94. I like this style already. Can't wait to put her on. That. I'm still loving the color. Only, of course, this time she has the darker roots. Lots of lace. Looks pretty transparent. And she does have baby hairs. However, they look long. So I'm most likely going to have to customize those and she has she is a left-sided part does curve there is one comb over here closer to the part and then one over here more on the side there is a comb here in the back of course she also comes with the handy dandy adjustable straps and you can see the inside lining here the cap She looks like she's going to be medium sized and most likely larger head friendly because there's good stretchability to the cap as well. So I'm going to go put her on, style her on up, wear her for a little bit, but for you, it'll just seem like a second that I'm gone, so don't go anywhere. Back with Layla. Ooh la la. She is a one classy looking lady. Love this look. I think she's cute too with these curls. Classic swooped side bang. Little retro too, which of course I am totally loving. And honestly, I don't know which I like better, her or Davida. They of course do have some similarities, but yet unique in their own little way. So I'm going to put them at equals. It just depends on the mood I'm in and what color I want to go with. That's just how I feel about it. But Layla, nonetheless, is certainly a keeper. She's got it going on. She's a work appropriate. She's appropriate for every age category. And she's appropriate for every day wear. What more could you ask for? I'm just saying, those are major qualities that I'm always looking for, at least. And I'm going to put her at about 16 inches. I think that length is very good for this style. And this color is amazing. I don't mind the fact that they made a little boo-boo. If you saw my review for Martina, this is going to look familiar, but we're going over the color anyway. And you do have this darker root, which I'm assuming is a number two. It doesn't go throughout, though. And then you have this stunning copper, red, and brown mixture. 
I think that it is flattering and will be complementary to every skin tone. Look at that vibrance and luster. That is fantastic. Totally love it. She is soft. I do feel some texture in there, but I'm thinking she's more of a light yakky. And it feels realistic. So I do definitely like the texture of her as well. And let's see what she looks like from the back. And I have been wearing her for a while, which is what I always do before I film this part. So that way I can get a good feel for the wig. And... Since I've been wearing her, I have not encountered yet one single solitary tangle. Now that is impressive. This is amazing. So she's easy to maintain, and that's why I think she's a perfect style for every day and for work. Also, no significant shedding. And not only that, but this parting space, I think, is top of the line as well. I didn't have to pluck anything. It's a good depth and width. And lays very flat and easy to blend. So I think that the hairline is realistic. But looks good to me. And I didn't uh, trim the baby hairs like I thought I was going to. I just left them. I'm fine with it. And the ones that were up here, since they're long, they just kind of got blended up with the rest of the hair, which I actually prefer. I think the style doesn't really necessarily need baby hairs up in here. That's just me, each their own. And the sides look good. This one side here, there's like no lift up. And this side here, just a tiny little bit. Hardly even noticeable at all. And she's comfortable, very secure. I still do think that the cap is medium sized, but I still also think that she is larger head friendly. And she's got natural density as well. I mean, everything is perfect about this wig right now. So, you know, I'm going to tell you to go get her. And I'm doing that. I'm saying, yes, go get her. She is a winner, like the jackpot of a Powerball ticket. You definitely need to pick her up. And I know that since she's very, very popular right now, you might run into some difficulties either finding her or having the color you want in stock. So either one, try her in a different color, take a little chance, or she's at least worth waiting for her to come back in stock. So that's pretty much what I have to say about that. And I do love this wig and I want to know what your thoughts are. Make sure you tell me. Also, let me know if you plan on getting her or if you already have her. I would love to know all about it. But that's really all I got for Layla. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to go out tonight with my husband with her on. It's kind of why I'm a little dressed up. But I will see you in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.